Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I thought I'd share with you a little jewelry cleaning video. This is a good way to um, maintenance jewelry that has in particular diamonds in it or stones in it. Um, so things can get kind of stuck in the little grooves. Any kind of jewelry that has like little, little grooves in it, just any kind of like little tiny, like just anywhere that dirt can collect. I feel like this is a really nice um, easy maintenance thing. I a lot of times um, if I just want to like maybe I'm going somewhere and I want my stuff to just have a little extra sparkle or whatever I pull out my little um, Sonic hair that I got on Amazon. It was only $20 when my husband purchased it for me. I will post a link. I did end up buying a second one at one point because I gave it to my mom because I like this so much. Um, I will post a link down below. It's going to be an affiliate link. So if you do purchase it, I will make a percentage off your sale. It'll be like very minimal. But if I'm gonna talk about it, I might as well. You know, I'm just gonna be upfront and honest with you about it. So, so uh, this is the little purchase. This is the little item from Amazon. Once I talk about it, you'll probably get ads on Instagram because once I bought, since I owned this, I started getting ads for it on Instagram. Um, or for something similar and it was a hundred dollars. So don't you could buy the hundred dollar one if you want But this is only twenty dollars and I like it because it seems like a good kind of maintenance item for my jewelry It feels very gentle on my jewelry and I'm not doing anything kind of harsh. It just kind of pulsates the jewelry um, So this is the item. It looks like this. I also buy this product on Amazon as well This is the blitz gem and jewelry cleaner concentrate um, because it's a concentrate, you want to water it down. So I'll just show you. Um, I just use a cap full of this and I pour it in here and then I like to mix it with hot water. So I put a little bit of hot water just from the tap in there. I feel like hot water cleans things better. Not sure that that's necessarily always the case, but in my mind it cleans better. So um, I put hot water on here and I just plug in the little adapter plug it into the wall and I put in all my jewelry uh, piece by piece I especially like this item for jewelry that is has a stone in it or um, for mainly my diamond jewelry that has like little prongs and things and little areas where like maybe makeup or a little dirt or something will get kind of stuck in there uh, so that's what I really like this for because it cleans and it kind of is just gentle on how it gets everything else. It vibrates um, and gets all the dirt out. Today, my jewelry didn't look so bad. Sometimes if your jewelry is very, very filthy, which mine wasn't today, you will see clouds of dirt um, surrounding the jewelry and it's disgusting but extremely satisfying. <laughs> I typically only use the machine maybe once every six weeks. Usually when I go to get um, facials, uh, microdermabrasion, chemical peel kind of thing. I do it basically every six weeks. So I like to take off my earrings uh, when I go just and have everything kind of off and fresh faced and everything for her to really like see what she's got going on there. Um, and those are the days I typically do it. I did get a facial last week, but people in my household have been sick, including myself. Um, I finally got over what I had and then today, my oldest son, he threw up this morning, fun. And then my younger one, my youngest one was saying his stomach hurt. So those two stayed home from school today. Uh, just doesn't end, it doesn't end. But I really like this little machine because I feel like it's just very gentle um, and it vibrates and just gets all the bad stuff out. And I also, it cleans everything really, really nicely. It makes everything sparkle so pretty. Um, I don't typically do my non um, stoned items in there, my not, because I don't feel like, I like to kind of wash it in a different, I like to clean those items in a little bit different way. I have a couple jewelry cleaning videos on here. Um, I just do, but today I decided I'm going to just try out this and I feel like it did clean it, um, decently. So it wasn't a bad thing, but just for whatever reason, I feel like I like to do more of like my rings and my earrings and necklaces that have little, um, little stones on them. I will say that one day I have another necklace that looks just like this. It's a disc. It's a little bit bigger. 
Um, it's my favorite and I've had it probably for over, I want to say I've had it for over 20 years um, and I love it. And I was cleaning it in there one day and I still haven't gotten it repaired, but one of the diamonds popped out. So when you're looking after you pick everything up, just look because if any of your stones are loose, I feel like it's kind of nice because this way I didn't actually lose the diamond in the necklace. It was just sitting in the little container. Um, but I would rather have it in there because it like was a loose stone than falling out and having to replace the stone. So I don't know. I haven't gone to the jeweler and had them um, pop it back in. I don't know how that it seems simple enough, but I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So um, I need to get that uh, fixed. But I saw that the little diamond had fallen out because I looked and I just like, you know, inspect my jewelry afterwards. So I strongly suggest to inspect your jewelry afterwards. And, um, and there was one stone and it was just in the little thing. So I just inspect the water, inspect the jewelry, just make sure that you're not missing any stones or anything because if something was loose, you wouldn't have wanted that to happen. I got really lucky recently, um, well in August, my, my other engagement ring had broke and I'm pretty sure it broke. Um, I went to a birthday party and they had a bull riding thing and I went on the bull riding thing and you know, I had my ring on and I noticed either that night or the next morning, one of my prongs had completely broken off. And I, so I got really, really lucky that the diamond in the middle did not fall out. That's why I replaced my engagement ring. So um, if the stone had been loose and I put it in there, I don't think it really was too badly loose. Um, it was still being held in there nicely because I believe before I took it to the jeweler to uh, for them to inspect it and see if I should, you know, just, I, I kind of in my mind already knew that I was going to replace the ring and just kind of make it um, how I wanted it to be um, from ha having it for 11 years. And then, you know, there are things that I'm like, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. So I just, I got it reset and I'm happy with how I got it reset. Like I before, before I had little diamonds on tops of the prongs that I would always scratch um, children with. <laughs> um, and then it's just set a little bit different. I did do like the hidden halo and I still wanted diamonds on the prongs, but I didn't want them to go all the way up because it was a really pretty detail. Um, so I just went with the bottom part of the prong and it's just kind of nice. So it still looks a lot like how mine did, um, but I made it gold this time instead. And then I didn't put the diamonds on the back side of the ring because um, mine had fallen out, the ones that were on the very back. And I just didn't want to deal with that again. But none of the diamonds had ever fallen out in the <laughs> in the little uh, Sonicare thing. Just my one necklace, but it it's 20 years old. so. You gotta think it's probably been used and abused because I like to wear my jewelry. I don't like to, I don't I don't typically take it off, which I really should um, take off like all my earrings and everything at night. I should do it every night, um, but I'm not the best at it. Um, it's like washing your face at night. Like, you know you should, but a lot of nights you just go to bed and you're like, oh, I should have washed my face. I should have, and you didn't, and you kind of regret it. So I love, 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 love this little machine. My husband bought it for me and I thought, okay. And I like, I just store it in the box. I like to keep it stored. I like to keep it stored in the box. Um, just keeps everything kind of in there. I wish the, uh, the liquid fit would fit in there too, but just the box actually fits like kind of ideally underneath like our little filtration system in underneath the kitchen sink. So it just, it's nice and it fits really nice. Um, and then I just stick the uh, the jewelry cleaner, the jewelry solution um, underneath there as well. But I feel like there's nothing better than having just like, that. it's like a fresh manicure. Like I really like to have my nails done. Um, I was painting them myself and I like that too um, until I experienced gel nail polish. And then I'm like, oh, well it stays, it doesn't chip. It's just kind of ideal. Lately, I've been doing the dip, the dip. I don't know what it's called exactly, like, but dip nail polish, um, and it takes a little bit longer, so that kind of stresses me out sitting there for um, a decent amount of time. Um, 
but it seems like it it's hard and I haven't had any of my nails break with the dip on there <laughs> the dip um, so I'm not sure if one is theoretically better than the other but my nails are like way too long I didn't want them to be as long as they are this this last time but I she asked me she's like you want to go shorter and I said a little bit <laughs> and she said okay we just file and I said okay <laughs> and so um, it was just a little little tiny file this week so um, next week I'm not or not next week but it's usually like two to three weeks that it lasts so um, I'll have to although look at this check this one out you see that I banged my nail against the um, the kitchen count or the kitchen sink and it cracked and I don't know if it cracked underneath I think it just cracked the dip on top but kind of interesting I just went and hit it just right and it cracked doesn't look like it's cracked underneath though so who knows but I thought that was interesting so I think it's like kind of like a protective layer on the fingernails so if I'm going to have a little bit of longer fingernails which I never in my life thought I would have longer fingernails um, maybe the dip is for me what do you call it anyway I just always say I'm up here for a dip manicure um, I used to think like dirt was gonna get all underneath my fingernails and it really doesn't. So I feel like if they're shorter, sometimes things get stuck in there. I don't know why that is, but I don't know. But that is it for now. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I wanted to do another video. I just, I just haven't, it's just been hectic. And so hopefully I, I'm at least I'm doing the one still a week, but I really wanted to get it to two a week and um, we're just not there yet. I'm like, I also haven't gotten into my like operation get sexy because I just haven't, I have needed the rest. I, I've been waking, I used to wake up at 4.45 every morning and I enjoy waking up at 4.45. It just, it's nice. Um, you know, you just have time to yourself in the morning. I can go on my treadmill. I can walk for like a good amount of time. I make the lunches while they're all sleeping. And then I wake everybody up and I just make sure everyone's taken care of at that point. Um, the last like couple weeks I've been just so tired and I couldn't get out of bed and I just didn't feel that great. So I have been waking up and then getting ready, then getting everybody else ready and then making lunches as I'd really like to be sitting with my kids and doing other stuff. So it's just, it's not ideal situation that I'm in. So hopefully, by next Monday I'll be in my ideal situation uh, hopefully everyone gets well <laughs> this weekend um, and it's just a little bit of sickness today and nothing else this weekend that would be great um, but yeah so if you have any questions requests feel free to post them below I've seen a lot of people ask about videos with my mom um, I think that's a great idea I enjoy doing a little sit down video with her every once in a while so if you have any questions, um, since a lot of people wanted that, feel free to ask them below and maybe I will try to do a sit down little video with her at some point in the near future. I don't wanna like, in the near future. Um, but yeah, that is it for now. So I will see you soon with another video. Hopefully it's before Friday. Goodbye.